Hi there, my name is Liz and welcome to my channel where I share things home decor and just some general lifestyle. I'm so glad that you're here today. In today's video, I wanted to take you along on a quick trip to Ikea with me to see what they've got in stores these days, what's new for spring 2022, and point out some of the things that really caught my eye and what I generally look for whenever I do go to Ikea. So if you do enjoy watching this video, please hit that thumbs up button below to like the video and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss future videos just like this one and without further ado let's get to ikea okay so i really do love looking through all of the showrooms before hitting the marketplace in ikea i just think it's really cool to see the different way that they style things and kind of get some inspo from that and overall i just think it's a really fun experience this coffee table really caught my eye. It is round and it has this little shelf on the bottom. I think it would be so easy to integrate into so many different decor styles, especially if you're more into like the neutrals or like coastal look. It honestly also reminded me of something that I would see in a Studio McGee collection with Target. I thought that this little white plant stand was also so adorable. I feel like you could use it inside or outside and it is just so, so cute. And I love how they put that faux eucalyptus on top. I just thought it was a really beautiful look. Almost this entire ensemble here is new. The coffee table, the side table, the couch. The coffee tables aren't quite my style, but they are still very kind of minimalist and modern. Um, I did really like the couch. I thought the lines were really clean and modern, and I did really like the fabric too. I always love looking at their bookshelves to get any little styling ideas and seeing kind of what storage solutions that they have. And I thought that this rug was so cute. I thought it was a really great find for spring. This is another little coffee table that I really liked. I love the light wood wash of it, and I just think that, again, it can incorporate into so many different decor styles, especially that neutral look that I personally am a huge fan of. Maybe I'm just really excited for the warmer weather, but I swear every little patio setup like this that they had just got me. I thought it was so cute, and I think that this little faux olive tree that they had back there looked really nice. And here were um, all of like the lighter options in the coffee table section. Maybe it's just been a while since I've been to Ikea, but I feel like they had so many more than I even remember them having in the past. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And this is a little side table that's new. It goes along with that coffee table that I showed you guys earlier. And again, it really just reminds me of something that I would see from a Target and Studio McGee collection. I also noticed this little side table. I feel like that little gold at the bottom of the legs is just such a nice little detail. And this was a new chair that they were featuring. They had it in so many different fabrics. So I wanted to kind of highlight all of those for you guys. I think that these would make great dining room chairs or just an accent chair here or there. Um, overall, really versatile. And they had, as I mentioned, so many different fabrics. This little armchair was also a new piece and I just thought the silhouette with that curved arm was really cool. These storage shelves were also new and I feel like they are the only like lighter aesthetic storage shelves I've ever seen. They were a really great price but they were a little bit smaller than I was expecting. And this is my favorite kitchen at my Ikea. Those green cabinets get me every time, so I always have to check it out. I also liked the way that they had this storage set up underneath of the television in this little showroom. Um, and the cabinets I think are pretty basic, but it is this gold hardware that really caught my eye. I feel like I haven't really seen that before on Ikea pieces. And this kitchen kind of had the same look with those plain white cabinets, but then those gold handles, and I just thought it was really beautiful. Thank you. 
I love this chair. I think the fabric is just really fun and summery and kind of coastal vibes and I feel like it's a really great price as well. This bench really caught my eye because I feel like benches with this silhouette are really trendy right now um, and I feel like if I were to buy this I would probably stain it to look a little bit more rustic and used and also probably put some little chips and dents in it again to give it that used vintage rustic look. And here is yet another patio setup that drew me to it. Um, I really enjoyed how it was like almost a little moody with those blacks juxtaposed against the greenery. I just thought it was a really cool little space. I also really liked this office chair. I just thought it was really cute. I think the color is what really got me. Um, so I just wanted to show that to you guys. So the camera isn't picking up the color of this bedspread very well, but it's a very beautiful like sage green pinstripe and it just really reminded me of kind of the big color of the year being that sage green. This is another little plant stand that I thought was really cute, definitely for more outdoor use on a back patio or balcony, but I just thought it was adorable and for only $20 it's a steal. And I swear they have the cutest little kid section. I don't have any kids, so I really don't have any reason to look around in here, but I just think it's so fun. So I finished up in the showrooms and I headed down into the marketplace where I was so excited to fill my bag. These little wooden bowls in the kitchen section really caught my eye. I just thought they were really cute and I liked the idea of getting them in a set. And I thought that these little pink tinted glasses were so cute and I feel like these are kind of trendy right now just to add a little bit of spring and spring colors to your house and I think they would be adorable for entertaining. I almost picked up one of these blank doormats because I really have been wanting to DIY a doormat, um, but I did look at the label and it said for indoor use only, so that's kind of the only thing that stopped me from getting one, but they were a really great price. I also thought it was really cool to see that Ikea was carrying paint now because I know that some of their pieces are just made to be painted. And they had a ton of these stems, which I thought were so beautiful and they were pretty good prices. I think they were all about four to six dollars each. Um, and I was just really impressed by the selection that they had. So I actually headed to Ikea today to pick up some closet organization pieces because I'm reorganizing my closet. So I checked out and headed home. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming to Ikea with me and seeing what they had in store today. As I mentioned, I went to really pick up some organizational finds for my closet reorg, so I will link that video here for you guys to check out if you are interested and also link it down in the description. And I will also link the products that I purchased today in the description down below, so be sure to check that out. If you guys did enjoy watching this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button below to like the video and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss future videos like this one. I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you.